welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super fast six step morning routine for you where I'm going to share with you the simplest ways to get ready when you're in a rush. Maybe you've slept in or you just don't have a lot of time to get ready in the morning. And these six things are so simple. They're going to make your routine really, really fast. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first one is to get up. Obviously, if you don't get up, then you're not going anywhere. Don't hit that snooze button. Don't sleep for another five, ten minutes. You have to get up when that alarm goes off. I know it's sucks but you just have to force yourself out of bed and head straight to the kitchen. Number two, once in the kitchen have some cereal. Cereal is the fastest way to eat breakfast and eating breakfast is really really important. I find that cereal is the, the most simple fast way to quickly make a breakfast. All the ingredients are really easy to grab. You just put them together and in this time that you're eating your breakfast, you can have a little bit of downtime to maybe check your social media or write a to-do list, whatever you need to do, but it means you're kind of doing two things at once and you're not actually taking time out of your morning to just be on your phone or to write a to-do list, you're doing two things at once. The third thing is to head to the bathroom and wash your face and brush your teeth. That is a tongue twister for me, washing your face and brushing your teeth. I just, I struggle to say it, but if you shower at night time and like the night before, it's going to save you so much time that next morning. So all you have to do is wash your face, feel fresh. Um, so recently in the mornings, I have been using the Real You Cleanse gentle foaming face wash. I really like this. It's super gentle on my sensitive skin, which is a bonus for me. Um, it's pH balance. It completely cleanses my face. It makes me feel fresh, but it doesn't irritate me or bring out my redness, which is really important to me. It's helping me stay on top of all the little spots and all the little pimples that I sometimes get, which is helpful. And it washes away all of the dirt without removing any of your natural oils or over drying your skin, which is also a bonus. If you're having any little breakouts or little issues on your face, I like to jump in with the Real You Spot Treatment Remover. And you know when you have like those, that hormonal like sort of under the skin breakout, like I hate it when it's that time of the month and you're getting those little bumps. I love this little treatment for that. It's going to help kind of stay on top of it and then that way you don't end up with a big breakout. So I like to use that spot treatment if I need it. And then to finish off my skincare routine, I like to moisturize. I love a super hydrating moisturizer. This is the Real You Hydrate Light Moisturizer. It feels so good. Again, sensitive skin and don't have any issues with it, which is what I love but it feels really, really hydrating. I love a good moisturizer that I just feel like is sinking into my skin and there's nothing worse than putting on a moisturizer and it feels like you haven't put a moisturizer on. That's not my favorite thing, but I don't get that with this Real You one. I find that I don't have to use very much. It goes a long way and it makes me feel super hydrated and moisturized, which is what you want. It doesn't clog my pores and it also has antioxidants if you have a bit of problem skin. So it's gonna help you get on top of any of those little areas or patches that you might be having some issues with pimples or breakouts. And then once I have finished my skincare, I'm going to jump in and brush my teeth and then I'm gonna head off to my room. Number four, it is time to get dressed. My favorite outfit, which I think so many of you know by now, is just jeans and a t-shirt, that was the wrong way around. Jeans, t-shirt, whichever. Um, I have a gray t-shirt here from, uh, cotton on, uh, mm. I have a gray t-shirt here from Country Road and then of course my favorite black like ripped jeans from Factory. These are the Santiago ones. I love a good jeans and tee combination. It's seriously the most simple, easiest outfit. And I also just chuck it on with some sneakers or some uh, trainers, runners, some simple casual shoes, really comfy shoes are also a bonus. And then if it's a bit colder, I can chuck on a denim jacket or a leather jacket or something like that. And it's so simple. So then your whole outfit is done and it only took like two seconds and you look totally fine. Number five, super quick makeup. If you don't want to wear makeup, don't wear makeup. But I have three products that I love to use on a day when I am in a complete rush and I'd like to put a little bit of something on my face. The first one is my Astralis um, pressed powder. It comes with a little like sponge in it, a very well used sponge. But this is so good for just putting a little bit of coverage all over your face. I really like how it sits on my skin and it's so fast. I just use the sponge that's in here all over my face really, really quickly. Then if my eyebrows need it, I will do a little bit of touching up with my uh, Benefit Precisely, my brow pencil. However, I have recently had my eyebrows tattooed, so I don't really need this as much anymore, which is such a help in like getting ready in a rush. 
And then of course, I can't go without mascara. I feel really washed out if I don't have anything on my eyes. So I have my Marc Jacobs um, mascara that my beautiful friend Ebony gave to me. I will leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description, but she told me I had to try this out and she gave it to me and I love it. So thank you, Ebony. Um, so yeah, a good coat of mascara is also going to help me kind of feel like I've put myself together, but only in three short and simple products. And number six and the final tip to getting out the door is to grab your bag. If you are really good, you can pack your bag the night before and you won't have to worry about it in the morning. But if you haven't, it's not too hard to just grab your bag, go around, throw everything into it, pop it on your back and head out the door. So that is my super fast six step morning routine. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I'll have all information and products listed in the description. So make sure you check them out. It's time to open day five. Wow, I can't believe it's day five. It's day five? Yes, day five. I think that's what we're up to. Where are we for day five? Up the top corner here. Okay, this is a gold box. It looks really pretty. What's the question? Uh, what birthday did the body shop celebrate this year? Uh, can I say 20? 41 years? Whoa, I was way off, but that's awesome. Okay, so this one says, Kindness starts from within. List five things that make you special. Um, number one, I have a skin condition that runs up the entire right hand side of my body that's never ever bothered me, but people keep mistaking it for patchy fake tan. I swear I don't suck at my fake tan that much. It's a skin condition, but it's very unique and it makes me me and I love it and I've never hated it and it doesn't stop me from like wearing shorts or dresses or bikinis or anything. Um, what else makes me special? This is really hard. See if any of you guys can list five things each in the description, I mean in the comments section about what makes you special. I make people laugh. I enjoy making people laugh. I am really ditzy sometimes and that makes people laugh and I enjoy that. Dan's always making fun of me because I'm doing so much ditzy stuff. I like to compliment or ask like sales assistants how they're going just because um, I enjoy it and I enjoy giving customer service people customer service back because I used to work in customer service so I still go into shops doing customer service stuff. I feel like that makes me special. One of my hobbies includes researching random information. Most recent thing I've been interested in is tall buildings and buildings in general. That was the last little um, informational hobby thing that I started researching. I don't really think I have any special talents that make me special. It doesn't really matter, it's completely subjective. You can be, whatever you want can make you special. Um, the fact that I have blue eyes makes me special because no one else in my family has blue eyes. So there you go, blue eyes makes me special. You can make whatever you want special, but I want to see five things in the comment section that make you guys special. Let's open this box. Today we have a uh, Vineyard Peach 010 Lip and Cheek Stain. And what? How do I do this? Oh, it's got a st oh, it's got sticky tape on it. Hang on. So this is it here. And it's a very nice peachy pink color. And it smells super sweet. I love it. Also, check out my burn from yesterday. It's not pretty. Uh, but this is cute. I like this. I'm going to put this one back up in here. And we should start seeing some more like of this world map in the coming days, hopefully. And this has been really fun. I love advent calendars. They're just so festive and fun. And it's something cool to do every single day in each vlog. So today is done. And up the top here, you can check out my last video down the bottom. I will leave a link to another one of my morning routine videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.